<laughs> so here's an honest thing, right? I think, uh, and this is controversial, but I think Donald Trump has done one really good thing, right? I'll tell you what it is. Donald Trump has taught Americans the feeling of shame. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? <laughs> No other country in the world has so much honour and confidence than Americans. And when Obama was president, because he was quite cool and good looking and intelligent, people were like, oh, we're cool as well. Now they've got fucking half man, half hamburger. <laughs> yeah, Americans, that's what you are, that's what you say. <laughs> okay. Americans think they're the best country. How? How is America the best country? By what measure is America the best country in the world? How are you measuring that? Obesity and school shootings? Is that how? <laughs> How you measure your country? It's not number one country. In the I'm not saying it's the worst country in the world. I'm just saying it's not the best. I'd rank it 57. That's what I'd rank. It. I'd rank America. Yeah, just below Eritrea and just above France. And it's not the best country in the world. I think it's ridiculous for America. How can Americans think that America is the best country in the world? You know, when that's obviously Britain. How? How can Americans be so arrogant? <laughs> country in the world. Tell you why, because in Britain we've got multiculturalism. Best way of doing things, right? We've got multiculturalism. We've got all the best bits from all the different cultures, put them together in one country and make one super country. We've got <laughs> black people's music, Indian people's food, uh, white people's cutlery. <laughs> white people have the best cutlery. <laughs> There's some tension in the room. <laughs> Because as white people, we know we're not meant to be proud of too much. But we've done as a race. But cutlery, we fucking nailed. Best cutlery in the world. And I'll defend that. And I'll, and I'll give a friend of mine who's from China, and, and uh, he says that it's, it's like a cultural thing. You're just used to the culture, so you think that's bad. Because you grew up in the West, you assume that, that knives and forks are better than... But the thing is, I think knives and forks are objectively better than, than chopsticks. He said, well, Joe, think about this. When you're using chopsticks, it's one hand. So you've got a hand free, so that's an advantage of chopsticks over the knife and fork. All right, good point. What do you use the other hand to do? And he said, use the other hand to hold the bowl closer to your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Using two hands to eat still, aren't you? <laughs> but, um, 